being positive is not faith. And being pessimistic is not lack of faith. Positivity and pessimism must be together to produce accurate dispensing of decisions when it comes to businesses. Being pessimistic is more or less like being seeing the negative side of things. Sometimes we become too overclouded with positivity that we refuse and choose not to see pessimistic aspect of things. And by the time we start facing the pressures that come from our high level of negligence of the negative possibilities in, in the front line of our visions and, and endeavors, we, 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 we have no skills, we have no preparation to override and overcome these negative vibes and, and obstacles. Jesus knew what he was going to suffer. He knew the timing. He, he, he understood. He says, I, I've come to do the work of him that sent me. When I still have time, for there is going to be a time when I will not walk again. And there was a time that came, the door closed. No more time to heal the sick. No more time to preach. So he utilized the free time that he had to do the work. Because he knew that very soon he would be apprehended. Beaten and bruised and hung and die and that's the end. He would check out. His time was up. Paul also knew. So we must understand that that there is the negative side of things and there's the positive side of things. When these two negative and positive vibes are put together and well understood, it will produce power. It will produce consistency and sustainable success. We, we want to be positive. But tell me, positive power, I mean positive line does not create power. It takes negative and positive to create that spark of, of, of light current. <laughs> The value of light is darkness. Imagine there's no darkness. We wouldn't have known that light was valuable. You must always understand that pressure is part of the process. Thinking ahead, for instance, every pilot will always consult the weather and the forecasting. We we'll always forecast to to have an understanding of what they're going to be dealing with in, in the air. I remember when we were coming from um, Johannesburg, I don't know, within some, after 30 minutes or whatever, the pilot announced and said, we are going to be passing through a storm. And she knew it just a few minutes before. So we're going to go into a storm. There's a storm between one city or whatever. He said it's a storm. But it's not going to last for 10 minutes. Just about 10 minutes, we'll, we'll go through it. You see that? He knew that there was a storm. The pilot knew that the storm was going to be there and we're going to burst. And she predicted how long we're going to pass through the storm. And God being so gracious, we could look through the window to see that there was really storm. It was cloudy and air was going through it. But it happened that the height of the craft was above the storm. Because some of the storms can be higher. Now, no matter how high you go, it's still there. So it, the craft climbed above it. And then we saw the storm below us. But they were prepared. They were saying that we might go through a rough turbulence. But it's going to take 10 minutes to pull through. It's called wisdom. Imagine somebody who didn't consult the weather and say, I have faith. You didn't consult the temperament of the people, what possible obstacles that the business could bring in because you have faith. It's just, that's just the problem that we have. We must be prepared. 